Uh, it's great to, to buff up the DP three. and such. When we saw pushes. people picking the Sven versus Bristle at Epicenter like a year and a half ago or whatever it was, it's because the God Strength on the Bristle, one of the games that he played, but he went the damage. He went Halberd, AC, Abyssal Blade on this Bristle in the last situation. Okay. And then I'm going to check the other game that they did pick. I think they did pick it. Oh, man, Raven, Raven, Brave and Bristle, so it's over the years. We've seen a lot of them in that bottom lane. Zephyr gets the check. To make sure that this Chen actually can't get a creep, but they got the kill without having a creep. Power of Shadow Shaman check. All right, in the next game, he did go with the standard uh, standard Bristle items. Solo Crest, oh. Crimson Guard, blah, blah, blah. 1437, trying to get sent Send home, back. but he is surrounded. Yeah, there's no way he's going home in time as Predator will. This is so much damage coming in from these. It's 500 just from the Shard Golems, and then throwing out another 160 from the Shockwave. There we go. All right, who's dead? Oh, who's he's going to be? He's going to go for Tim's. Bye, the Tim's. squishy, the easy. No chance for Tim's. The Golems come in. Looking for them to come back from the Shrine. With that exorcism, he wanted to try to catch Armel. 3 6. See bottom, another attempt with the cast. Chasing him down, they've got the shackle. That'll, that'll do it. Spins, the battle hunger in your dream got him. is gone. Tim's gets the kill. The tri lane of Predator continue. And yeah, they're, they're kidding, keeping the pressure on this troll. This troll is really starting to get impacted by this. Zephyr tries for the wraparound, Shackle and Cask uh, aren't going to bounce or latch on, but it doesn't look like it matters. With the Battle Hunger and Sam H coming in as well, Predator find another. And it's bottom lane. Illusion. Okay, YXY well, has now hit the 6, not putting a point now, he just maxing the power and the Shockwave. They can zip in, 458, Fairy Fire will be popped, trying to keep himself alive, he's got one Siphon, it's not going to save him. Armel and Tim's. That wants to be bullying the storm spirit over here, so them able to get that kill for Armel is very, very good for TNC brothers. One of the tigers will make the move again onto Cuckoo. Cuckoo does not have Windrun available. Turn with the shackle holding in your dream back temporarily, but it's not going to save him. With the blast, 1437 with the Ether Shot finds the kill. But look at what Sam H do get the slow, they don't want to die, but already the Wind Range are coming back into the lane. It's not for Treads first on Sam H, but they want to be able to apply. Smoke on smoke action. Armel does have a DD rune at the moment. Yeah, it's still very scary if he finds a target at this stage. He will oh, do so. He's, he's, find a he's poking the Sam H, but indeed Armel just goes straight away for the DP with the Malady Tonum as well. No chance. Sam H gets the call onto two shackle as well for Cuckoo. Fighting the back, but there's the shackle from 1437. Holds down the axe. Armel still with the DD ready. He's trying to pick up some more there with the Sen home onto Inutri. And the Chen just going to put some wards in the meantime while he's on his journey. But there, I mean, this is. The scare is the storm. The storm pretty much has Kaya finished already. And that's two back-to-back -back deaths on the Death Dyer's Prophet. Top tower is under attack. Sam H. Slow. 458 as well. And with the siphon. Sam H goes for the call to try and get the armor, but that's not gonna save. Too much damage coming out from Tigers. Sam H will fall. K should oh. pop to the Maledict. Could be close. Got so much regen. Oh no. It pops him. And he's gone. And they get one, four, three. On using cleave. Mm -hmm. One of the one of the one ways you can block that cleave damage yes. a little bit. Now over by the secret shot, making the move onto the chain. They've got him. Zephyr. Four now. Two teams. Yep. Uh, Storm and Witch Doctor looking to invade again. They want this tier one. They might be able to find a free kill as well, Zephyr. Yeah, they've got their eyes on Zephyr. They'll just go for it. And they go to the zips, dodging out the stun. Zephyr's popped. 458 will come forward with the exorcism, the silence on three. Looking to strike back. We send the Bristle back up in the sky. Bristle has been trapped. He's in the midst of the ward. We'll try and cut his way out, but the shackle's there. They've got the lock down. The exorcism enough to kill the Witch Doctor in your dream gets in position and beats down on Raven. Double nice. kill for four. Kill. K is, uh, is about to have Blink Dagger. Okay. 14 minutes in on top of the Helmet Dominant. He might die here, though. The shackled. Armel's in. Is there enough damage? Yeah, they got the Vortex. He'll pop the RP, but I don't know if he, w he really wanted to do that, because now now he's not going to... Coming to play later on. Cuckoo reveals that he has the Blink Dagger now. In the lane. They've got the jump. Sam H, he's got the grab. Armel comes in with the Vortex and 458 dunk down. Sam H will finish the Vanguard, and I saw Raven. Raven queued up the Halberd. 
So, Evasion versus Troll Warlord are incredibly good to disarm as well. Up top, I will find Tim's, but Armo, he's gone. TP's and out that's immediately. Predators, Radiance Cuckoo's just been this, this thorn in their side, just constantly pushing in bottom wave, forcing them to move around the map. Tim's, cast, in the go, zip. Armo wants a Bloodstone charge, and he'll find it. Hand of God won't save him that. Gonna have to go to church a little bit more for that one. Haven't found an opportunity. This predator just being that little more efficient with the, the, the way they, they eat up the map. Cuckoo, going for an aggressive play. The long zip forward. Armel does not have mana. He's out of mana. He's, he didn't do the maps. He is, he is dead. He's dead. And so is Cuckoo. Armel uh, messing up there. I mean, you... He went for that zip. I mean, even but if he, he didn't, didn't have a power shot to check for it, oh, I mean, we'll see it. Exorcism but. rewards are down. This is going to go so quickly. Raven's running in. I think he can't make it to pin time. It's gone. Roshan's fallen. They get their hex onto Raven. Can they kill him? That's the question. Two big for a shackle shot. Then can ever. There's the RP. KY XY comes in the side. Gets two of them. Drags them over towards In Your Dream. As In Your Dream goes to work. It destroys the Wind Ranger. Destroys the Axe. In Your Dream ready to look towards the Witch Doctor as well as he's chasing down more. Triple kill for the troll. Armel does still have mana left, so should be able to zip himself away. But Predator losing three as tough. On the side could be a. Could be really important. Predators can see the high ground, and that is not dewarded. So they can see where the Magnus is positioned. And here we go. They're going to get the fire farm out. Does manage to come in on top of the troll. Bring him down, but there's the counter play. They've got the shackles one in. Dream to touch. There's the RP from K coming through with the Magnus. Double kill for 4 5 8. They've lost three. A buyback will come out from Raven, but the Rack's in trouble as Tigers take the bottom set of Rack's. Move over to the mid lane. They've still got a little bit of time left on this exorcism. He's too dead on Predator as Armel does not want to buy back. He didn't use the BKB when he jumped and the, the Aetherlands, we said it could come into play. That Hex Shackle range by 1437. And they still got the wards. They're dropping down. They've cleaned up the second set of racks just like that as Armel does not want to buy back. Two sets of racks now down pretty much. Still, still the range in the middle but that, that was about it and his back. Whoa. K comes in for the taunt, skewers in, gets sent back, full scardy. Now an in your dream. And when Armel did that long jump trying to get the kill on his support. Oh, Cuckoo, been hexed, been shackled, in your dreams in, and Cuckoo's gone. Armel comes in with quick zip, but he has to zip back out. A fight that happened, but he can't find the opportunities to get his blink ball with Blade Mill. There we go. The hex. Focusing the rack, Samage jumps in, he gets the call on control. Immediately he's going to be used up in the air, so the Blade Mail is going to do too much damage at all to In Your Dream. And they'll surround Samage, take down the axe. Tim's getting caught out by the Shiva's guard, they'll both buy back. But the tier 3's gone. Cuckoo tries for a shackle, won't connect. As they're focusing the racks, Cuckoo comes with a BKB in the Maelstrom Focus Fire, trying to take down 458, but with the armor, the siphons, the Eon Disc, the heals, the Refresher Shot, 458 just stands his ground, takes the melee racks, looks to pushing Raven back away from this attempted defense from Predator. Armel zipping in on the back lines, he's looking for the easier kills, he'll get the Chen, but that really is it, as they've lost the top set of racks. 458 just pushing the entirety of Predator back towards their base with that Refresher Shard. The maximum usage of double those items and double the skills causing this defense to be very hard for Predator to form. Now we'll now to move in. And the Exorcism will shortly come to an end, but there's K again. The counterplay, the RP, the Blade Mount is quite a bit though in response, but they've got the Magazine. Your Dream is still good to go with the BKB as he beats down. Armel is looking towards... Tim's after getting the axe, but the control is there. They do control up the troll that take the Aegis out of his hands. The rest of his team have fallen as Predator. May just be able to kill in your dream twice. And uh, they should should be able to do so. If they kite him out, Tim's keeps the distance. They will slowly but surely pull the troll apart. But it's 40 minutes in, Predator. With Magnus, Bristleback takes quite a while to spam it down the close by Storm. Can deal with it in an okay manner, but not the most fantastic. Same thing with Axe. They don't have the heroes to really deal with these megas. Your Bristleback is very farmed, but it, it kind of feels like he's hurting you in a way because the Spirit Siphons. Sure, he tanks up the whole fight, but that means the Death Prophet has a 3,000 health Bristleback to just keep siphoning and get that massive amount of uh, spell uh, lifesteal. Oh, look, Cuckoo. He really wants to find the Chen, and he does. Can he actually get out as well? He, he Small stuff. Still trying to punch back. Bristleback crew cues oh, the trap. <laughs> oh, 
1437. Good to get our here. Oh, the, the shackle! He's got a hex follow up. Oh! The gem bait! Oh no! One, four, oh, three, man. seven. Oh, commend this man immediately. Oh yeah, the perfect gem bait. 1437. The cast range. We and talked about the cast range. Hey, GG, you gotta tap out. GG is there. Predator will tap out as Tigers. Taking game one of this all important best of three. Was quite smarto indeed. A lot of confidence from this team. A very nice draft from 14. Do you think he plays Storm again? Like, he didn't have a great game last game, but it does seem good here. Sure, there's still the going to chase down 1437, but they won't dive the tower. He drops very low, though. High damage from the attribute. Tim's walking oh. the Riptide. We'll find him. Oh. That vision from the first. I was going to say, maybe it was, it was a sort of lapse of the mind there from 1437. As, yeah, they were, they were all... Cuckoo. Down bottom as well. They want to try and set up onto K. K. AFK at the moment. Stand still. In they go. K. He's gone. I think that was Cuckoo using a mango on Tim's there so that he would have the mana because he didn't have any rem Long wrap around. They get the ward behind the tower too. They know that Armel has come up here. And Dream and TP. He's baiting them. He is juking them. Yeah, poor by bait. He's turned up with the exorcism and now TNC Predator. They've got to get out of it. They've got the shackles from 1437 out onto Armel as well as 458 coming across with the ghost. The static link from In Your Dream racking up. And Armel will lay the blood right down, but it does not matter. They have more than enough damage to claim the life of the Bloodseeker too. Very nice smoke play. They smoke and not, they don't just go for the kill, right? And now they smoke, they put the ward. They're going to get Tim's as well. Samich, you will be able to rift out. But they make the most of that ghost usage indeed up and down Damn. the map. 458. Very good map read. Clockwork only level 4 at the moment. Man, Zephyr is it? looking for Tim's. Oh, and he, he's found him. He's got him in the cogs. Battery assault as well, but uh, it doesn't look like any of his mates want to come over and help him get the kill. Oh, Maybe they don't need deep. to. There's a creep wave there. Oh, he's in trouble now. He's a little deep Zephyr. Ah, uh, that was... That was... I don't think that was ever going to happen. Cuckoo. He gets he uses the tome of knowledge on the clockwork, so now level six. Now he's got more than enough damage. 458 will secure it. <laughs> the top lane. Oh man. Rupture. Straight up onto K. Tim's coming in as well. Okay. Can he actually escape this? He is gonna pop the shape shift. Pop the stick charges. He needs help though, and no help is coming, so K will fall. Tim's and Armel catch him out with the gank. And also Armel to get a Radiant set a pretty good timing. He was actually not doing the greatest on the Bloodseeker after that one death that he had. And then just completely caught back up once he got those kills. And up top, Zephyr will find Cuckoo. Yeah. With that hook shot. It's placed out. They know that he's up there. They know that Cuckoo's in the tree lines. They're spending a lot of time right now, though. And the Revision. Hook shot back up. Zephyr. Bit of a repeat of what we just saw. And he goes on to the Takira. Cuckoo tries to hide nice and deep. The battery assaults there. Cuckoo cannot breathe a single ounce of fire. A Zephyr. Or something. I don't know. It looks strange. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably just lag. I'm sure. <laughs> it, was, it was a feature. Zephyr it's a feature. walks into Tim's on the high ground. There's a shrine there and some more teammates. Will he clean up the Naga? He will not. And he will play with his life. Oh, he's dead. That was the fresh relic as well for Armel. And now it's pretty much a Radiant. They've got the Naga to deal with it. Song is coming out. I think they think that they're rushing already because they threw the scan out. They're actually not doing it just yet. They might get some kills still there. They'll try and miss working on the side of the blood ride. The route on 1437. He'll be surrounded and he'll get taken down. He gets out from Minion Dreams. He looks to chase. Dark Rift and Samage. Looking to get them out. That's going to be cancelled. Samage says we can fight this. And uh, evidently he cannot. He's dead. As the rest of TNC walk off. Maybe a, a bit of miscommunication there as he did this. They're waiting for someone else besides the Aegis Carrier. They see Zephyr. They got him! Nice pass down, Blood Rod as well. Zephyr doesn't stand a chance. And buyback straight away. And it's nice. Can Tigers get a jump back in? The hook shot. Only on the illusions. 
Just have to back yourself. Tins him down. Shape shifts as well from K. He's going to oh. go straight towards Tins, but Tins has the sock. So the BKBs are up for In Your Dream and 458 as they'll punch down Tims. The singer has fallen. And now Raven getting chased as well. Can they finish off this life deal of the Ice Park? He's going to get saved. Raven will be out of there. The Ice Park holds back the three of them. And they'll turn their attention towards Cuckoo as the Dragon may pay for this. Crimson Guard popped by the end of the but it won't save Cuckoo. Armel going crazy though. Just the double kill. Looks towards 458. The rip. Will he get Sam H out in time? No Sam H. You don't want to go home, do you? Oh, they do. He does. He does. The blood seek. BKBs come out during the song from the Death Prophet and the Razor. So they're chasing him. He actually hops into Tim's pretty much max distance. Tim's dies right afterwards, but gets him just a surge forward. Oh, down and then the ice path. That was clutch. They found him. They found that Underlord. Can they kill him? Yes, they can. They'll drop the wards down as well. But look right there. It's going to cost them the life of the Razor. Yeah, those are. This is costly deaths. 1437, more than likely dying as well. Coming out with the Bloodseeker and his Radiance. He'll make them work for it, though. Just a little bit. Arm oh, out, getting it. So all pretty much go at the same time. Yeah, all three have to yeah. pop PKB and run in. Oh, smoke. Wrap around, silence, on to three. Very nice. In your dream, shoves himself in. The Hurricane Pike gets the title and comes to the lifestyle of a Raven's out the side. Jumps in sandwich, looks for the safe ride home. Armel goes for the BKB TP. He'll make it out. In fact, pretty much all of them just kook. And I think that might be why TNC did opt for doing this Naga so early. Oh, and Tim's. Another set of Zephyr goes for the hook shot. They do have 45A moving in with the BKB. For the Siphon. On to Cuckoo. Cuckoo turns. Gets the old out. Cuckoo looking to try and bring down the clock and he will. Cuckoo does lose his life from the turns. It's one for one. Make that a two for one. As Inyo Dream just gets around the BKB not going to save him. Okay. But it's just the three of them alive here. They cannot afford to try and fight against TNC Predator. They've got to try and run, but 1437 will not be able to get himself away to safety. Several times, but he's really emphasizing on that. There's this tower. And potentially barracks seem to be in a bit of a... Yeah. So with Blood Rage, then open wounds right afterwards. Most of them should stay pretty sustained. They're heading in the general direction. A little DP old, though. Not for a long time. This is so hard to try and contest this song of the siren. They had to BKB and going at the same time. Here we go. Moving forward into the pit in your dream. The whole of them popping the BKBs. Can they get the kills? 1437 has the jackals, but there's the song. Raven able to rage himself away. They've lost the Underlord. As Raven will be able to kite out. Shapeshift from K. Cuckoo comes back in, drops the ult to try and force them out of the pit, but that's going to be Cuckoo dead too. And now, you're done. Tims, he gets surrounded. Tims, he's going to fall as well. Tigers. Taking the fight around the pit. BKBs are available. So 458. Is he gonna yes, yeah, he's gonna pop it straight away. And he goes, ready to pop it, ready to push. He's gonna get silenced by the blood right, but he's just gonna stand his ground, do the damage. Raven heads in with the raid, trying to disrupt this in your dream as well over the BKB back up. Standing link on the Raven Wolf Broken. Raven gets out of the side, but there's the Rosha and Aegis into the hands of In Your Dream and Tigers get both of them. On the high ground, Zephyr's in K, trying to fight around with Armel. Dark is going to be there from Samich as he's looking to take him home, but Armel, he, could he get in range in time? Doesn't look like he wants to. Raven and Armel will stick around as Raven focuses down K. The lichen has gone, but back towards the mid lane. Tim's caught out. He's down for a minute. They get the Roshan. They get the Aegis. They do lose their Lycan. Maybe they'll lose more. Rupture's on to 4-5-8 with the heal from the Exorcism, bringing him back up to pretty much full. Oh, now can he still try and chase this down with the help of Raven? Raven looks towards 1437. 1437. The team! Oh, no. Gets him out the side there. I believe that was in your dream coming in with a hurricane power. They get the oh. out as well. The, the great. Zephyr. Good shot at the ready farm. Oh, it's onto the wall. Might still work out though with a cold push back onto the Jakiro. TNC. I think I'm going to try and take this fight. Raven he is moving in. They get the root in your dream. And the, the, the clock falling kind of low, but the BKB is out in the midst of it all from 458 as he gets off the exorcism. 1437. Looking to have the control on the side. Gets the hex and shackle down onto the target as in your dream comes in with the BKB and now manages to get the static link down onto Raven. Raven jumps inside of Armel. The static link persists. They have lost two this time around on Tigers. Can predator to get everyone out there? No, though, they can't. They'll lose the Jakiro. Two for one. A lot of ults being expended here by Tigers. So Predator, they'll be fighting them, trying to get the jump over and over again. Yeah, here we go. They are going to try and take the fight at Predator, but there is a ward down with Tigers. So they have decent vision around this area. Razor. 
They'll certainly have a good shot of taking them down once. The question is, do, do Tigers want to fight around this? They don't have ghosts. And they won't. In fact, Predator themselves seeming, uh, seemingly a little scared about going on In Your Dream a second time. Towards our back up. Into the ice path. Again, the force is getting K nicely out to the side. Doesn't even get hit by the blood right. They're killing the book three, though. That's the book already gone, as well as the dominated creep. How long to go? Ghosts are back up. They've got everything. They have got the ults. So just lacking the book. Raven's just in it. He is. I mean, he's, he's going on to this, this Lycan. Okay, had to put the shake in. They do get the shackles, but the force brings him out to the side. Tim's trying to come forward. The BKB is already out there on Tigers. It's okay. Tries to focus down. Kuku, Kuku, healed up by the crews. They'll turn around now. Look towards 5458 as 458 uses himself out. Sammy, he's trying to take them out of the fight. As you see, but Kuku's been separated. Zephyr will manage to play around with him with the cogs, push him out to the side. Both sides playing very grouped up, though. Can't see Predator, they're looking to take this fight though. And then they've got the opening on 1437. They'll drop the rupture, blood right. 1437 gets himself out to the side as he will still fall. The Firestone finishes him off. They get the trap as well onto Zephyr. Both supports gone. Rush is up now, too. This is the thing smoke up here. Got 5.3k gold on the Razor and 5k on their death bottle, too. Hook shot, ready to fight around the shot. Moving in with the BKB 458, trying to get the fight started. This goes in with the ghost. They do the blood right down. In your dream, pulling very low. They've lost one. The nullifier was dropped down onto the underlord. But he can't kill him. He's got the cheese. He's back up to full. Flyback's coming out. In your dream, heading straight in with his second life, ready to chase down Zephyr. Look towards Raven. And they catch out the Lyster. They get the silence, but the Lincoln's there. Will keep him safe. 1437, able to pick up the Valley Room, but it may cost him his life if Raven comes in from the side, cuts him down. Tim's with the song. The Ghost doing a lot, but he has the Ghost set to catch the Ghost. Tim's, he's fine. He's out to the side, and he's ready to go back in now as they surround the Death Prophet. Take down 458. Net is out onto Lycan as Lycan will get ripped to pieces as well. Predator. Take back comes out, but. They still had Aegis as well on Armel. Having all these different, having all these things from that Roshan is really starting to come into play there. And they hold this. They don't have access to them. Go in onto the, the, the DP quick force. We'll keep us safe. They're going to Dark Rift. Take them out. Sammy says, we're done. We'll get the racks another time. I mean, they forced, they forced the big buybacks. You can see Tigers in this game. We have it. Raven. It's the rats. Got that double ult available, 458. The duration of the ghost. And just sort of just having that backup exorcism. If you can see, do manage to force it out and take a fight outside of the music. Backup exorcism, maybe some third second charge in the fight. We'll see right now. Zephyr. He is getting absolutely murdered there. Will buy back immediately. 458 has popped. The exorcism. They get the Shiva's Guards on. Two of them. Another fire will connect onto the live stealer. But there we have the song from Tim's. Putting a stop to it all. And we'll get a hook shot it. But the combo of Kuku. Look at this lay down and damage though. That is the Razor gone. Dead for two minutes. Stuck in the combo of Kuku. They lose two. They lose three. Death Prophet gone as well. Predator have done it here in this game too. They managed to push this series on to the game three. Everything now resting on this third and final match between the two TNCs. And Predators certainly look to be back. They have the Bloodseeker that's going to build the Radiance, though, right? That's the only thing that puts me off of. They uh, find quite the advantage here in this 1v1. Top Tigers has some pretty good kill threat, though. Yeah, Cuckoo. Ready. Cuckoo, he's in trouble. Oh. He's blocked up. He's taken down. Bam. It, Bam. It yeah. gained. You see what he tried to do? He tried to play. Oh, he missed. Sorry, sorry. 14 and 10. I thought he was going for a deny. <laughs> he just gets the last hit. This is pretty rough indeed for 4 5 eight. Yeah. Cuckoo again. Oh, we got a CS. All right. And indeed, they get a kill. A second kill onto Cuckoo. At six four zero. Is oh. Beastmaster getting any farm? Oh, career. That was that was scary. Yeah, they nearly lost that. There. Up top. 
Damage. We do have the shards and the snowball. A good amount of control. It's going to be another plus two. He's got stick charges, but he is low. That means Armel is happy. 100 base damage on Bloodseeker in mid. Plus six. That being said, Raven is free farming down bottom versus that Omni Knight. But Omni, since he's oh, in his safe, can get something. Not, Google, a, not, not another again. plus two. Oh. The shards again. Now, these shards from Zephyr have been absolutely perfect. Each and every time. He will play with his life. Maybe the Fairy Fire. Oh. 4 HP. Oh, he's going to live. No. no, he's not. The axes are there. Sam H gets him. But not bad. Cuckoo gets an Arcane Rune and makes 458's life even more miserable. As he gets sewn off from the wave, and yeah, Armel is level six versus yep. a level four Death Prophet. That's a two-level difference for those out there. You very nice, Owen. Very nice. Cuckoo being chased again. The Arcane Curse comes out, but Armel is here this time. Oh, deny yourself to Roche. Okay. Dodging the blood right. Yeah, that's nice. Buying time. Get them to Roche. Oh, I didn't do it. Let's Armo get the kill. Bottom lane looking pretty damn hot for Predator. Yep, looks like a two, a big two lane win yep. for Predator in a one lane that's getting pretty shut down. I mean, Sam H isn't really last standing up here at all. Yeah, it, it's working out how, how Tiger's playing this lane. In your dream game file. Target. Cuckoo. Getting run down. They're looking for that plus two. Yep. I got it. More in. To boot for Mr. 1437. It may cost him the PL's life. As oh. DP's coming on all. They don't know, oh. they don't know which one it is. Can they? Don't breathe. Now they do. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. They do find him with that rotating oh, line next. It's bottom. Okay, okay. On the crap. There's no repel levels. Should be. High link. Yeah, should be fine. They don't want to die. Top lane. Oh no. Not another plus two. It is. They got it. Oh. <laughs> 1437. Sure, what what could happen? I've seen people push themselves on cliffs with iron branches, so. No. Four, Is that five, possible? Eight, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need a miracle fact check on that one. <laughs> mid lane. Snowball out. Onto arm out. In they go. They got him trapped in the shards. Bam, that's another plus two. Okay. They're gonna get another plus two. Is he in range? Oh, he get wants him in range. it. Oh, he wasn't in range. He wasn't in range. He wasn't in range. Benefit. Your dreams do not back of this. This PL. They want to fight top. this, though. Raven as well as Cuckoo, they're smoking over. Okay, this is down in front. We've got the Zephyr touch from the side, which is an opportunity to open up. Raven indeed for the wrap round and goes straight away. The Puppet Snowball comes across, not only enough to save 458 shortly, and indeed it is. 458 will fall. Can Tigers get kills in response? Sam H very low at the moment as In Your Dream looks to charge forward. They have the GA as well. We've got the Spirit Lance, pick up a double kill. He's moving in as well, chasing onto Armel. Armel still has the Arcane Curse upon him, so does Raven. As In Your Dream, he wants more, and he may just get his Spirit Lance out to them. Armel, that curse is going to tick for quite some time. We'll see if Armel is able to keep himself alive as he runs away Tim's chasing towards 1437 has the net has the control he'll get cut down his arm out ready to come back in zoom and then he'll get 1437 with the blood mm -hmm. smoke up nice now from predator 1437 oh there goodbye he might stand a chance here <laughs> he on the on the warden mission let's out get a couple of wards down over this uh, sort of farming area of the map and all they found cuckoo that should be an easy plus two. This is a scary time for the Phantom Lancer. Right now, PL has to just keep a, keep this aggression on because this is his peak timing when he's got this Diffusal Blade. He didn't... He got punished a little bit more in the landing phase than the Omni. Bon Cuckoo trying to go for an attempt on Zephyr there with oh, Mystic. Raven. There's enough damage indeed in the jungle. Raven's been found out. Silence chased down as they're ready for the kill and they'll take it. More in... Last hit. Smoke coming out from Tigers. Are they going to be able to catch one of the cores here? Oh, it's it's just settle. Oh, Cuckoo. He's, he's having a rough one in terms of his in. Let's see. They're kind of split up at the moment, Tigers. They send the boar. They see the tusk. Zephyr. We'll get slowed down. Right, let's go towards him. Blood right is down. He's got a snowball. He won't even get the chance to use the roots there. Him, he tanks the gank. They've got a medallion of their own. To speed it up. The Naga is there. They've got to watch out for the sleep. It's falling kind of quickly, Tim's. He's got to get over. Assume with the sharp block. He's going to come out from the side. He doesn't matter. He's able to walk around. Roshan incredibly low. Can he do anything to steal it? He cannot. As Tigers take the Roche, get the edges onto 458, and now look for the fight as Tim's will fall. TNC that was... could not get into the pit.
Very nice shards. They see the Naga in position. They even throw the preemptive repel. So the Death Prophet's not song. Well, now in your dream, he's looking for action, but he's going to get brought. He did not oh, have my. the ages. 458 was the one with the ages in your dream. Went in a little too far. Pyback's now going to be coming out from Cuckoo as he knows that there's chance for more out of this one. Okay. Will TP out straight away off the back of a repel. But uh, in your first, holding the BKB. Jump in, 4 5 eight. Got the yours. Chance down as well. Kuku will be trapped up. Kuku will fall. Arm out there, ready to make the counterplay. The snowball will be there. Keeping him safe from the blood, right? I'm rolling back to safe. Armal gets completely oomed. Oh, it's they're so pinging hard. it. They're pinging it. Oh, it's kind of clearing out. Sam H, does he want to go for this? He jumps in, goes for the easy target, gets the roar out onto the touch, but the touch is forced back to the side. Grease pops as well, they're back up to full, and now the jump in. Tigers are ready for the play, ready for the fight. They take down the Beastmaster, now they can surround Raven. Raven's popped the BKP, but he's taking a lot of damage from the Exorcism. GA popped out as well, as they could just move on, Tigers. No fear at all. Armel's TP gets cancelled by the punch, as Predator loses straight out. They didn't realize that, they're in. 4 5 eight, ready to go. Ready to push onwards, and that's a tier 3 gone. I can't believe Predator's actually glyphed for the tier 2. The Rats are in trouble. They've got to do something. Top lane, Sam H is going to go for the trade. He's going to go and try for the split push. There's bottom. They're pushing on. They want to finish off this melee Rats with the Ghosts, and they should be able to do so. Sam H continue to try and find something in return, as they do get the melee Rats target. Now they look to back away. TNC, if they can cancel some TPs here, Sam H may get the Rats. But it doesn't look like they can cancel them. 40 37s in Sam H. Boy, he just didn't even time for the kill. <gasps> but the side the global. Instant reaction there from 40 37. That's going to mean that the roar can't come out. And 40 37 will be fine for now. Extra TPs on their way back as Sam H does bring the racks down low. And they're sieging. Looking for the second step. And the ghosts are back up and out. 4 5 8. Look at the positioning from the three quote-unquote supports. We'll oh, call me a support here. Look at how they're split so up. Safe. Look, one all the way in the back, the other one kind of in the middle so he can get in range with the blink, and the Omni just all the way in the back. It just seems it seems flawless. The, that's sort of the push that they can go with now because of all these saves. The range on back. Gone. They do manage to get him, but the GA is out straight away. Raven pops the BKB, the was in your dream, but in your dream's ready to move forward. They manage to get, well, the Tusk trapped him on the back line, Sam H. And Sam H will go down, it will fly back straight away, but they've lost Kuku. Kuku does not have buyback. Tim's with the song. Oh my god. Saving so Raven for now, but the Rax will surely still fall if the song will end. As in your dream, 4 5 the whole team of Tigers ready to push in, take that melee rags. Tims goes forward with the net, self fuels up from the DP, keeping us safe from the axes as Armel's trying to get in, but the army of PL illusions just taking away his mana. Tiger. This Death Prophet who suffered so much in the laning phase, so much at the start of this game, the recovery. 3 1 and 6, 4 5 8. Not for Cuckoo, but Cuckoo's got friends. Uh oh. The link has got the roll to go through and he's gone. I cursed him. In your dreams, in though. Does have a double damage, so now Sam H, he's got to get the heck out of there, and he will do so. TP out will keep him safe. Raven does still have the BKB and the TP himself. But they but got the punch. They do indeed. He can't go for the TP play. Death Rice, he's not looking to chase him now. He needs to get back in there and he will. Blinks in, bam, there's the punch to get Raven. We have a Zephyr, finds the jump, immediately in with the punch, they're on to Cuckoo, Cuckoo's gone. And my back available on him, the ghost out for 4-5-8 as well as he's in straight into the middle of the fight here. He went right in, he's got the cheese, he's back up to full. I'm L popping the BKB as well as Raven, they've got the song as well from Tim's to allow him to back off. This uh, so. Now ready to try for the high ground with the remainder of the ghost. The fortification popped by Predator. TNC Tigers, they're ready, they jump in, Blade Mail's out and arm out, they'll turn the net onto Zephyr, moves it with loads of sword in your dream straight away and off the target, they've got their lockdown as well, can Raven get a good stunning link off, he's on team, your dream is getting a lot stolen, Armel gets the blood right out, he gets the heal as well with the blood rage, Armel, can he keep himself alive, no, the bash is there, Armel will fall, buys back immediately, Tim's, goes for now to 458, Link will pop it, Grease pops as well, by the Chaos, they keep them full health, Raven, getting locked down, Raven, bash up, by the PL, Raven's gone, he'll buy back, no, Armel in the midst of it all with the Blade Mail, he's now getting back, 
play in your dream. They'll try and force him away. Armel trying to run himself out. They're pretty low, so he's got a lot of movement speed. He can run, but he can't hide if the illusions chase him down. In your dream, he'll fall low potentially. Is he still alive? No, he's gonna stay alive. Oh, nice. Ultra kill in your dream finally goes down, but he'll buy back. Armel with the boost of speed. He's ready to chase. Looking towards 4037. He's got the blade man out. Take 4037 out. Now turns towards K. The static link, the net, the TP cancel. K held down. TNC Predator, they'll find him. They keep the middle racks alive. And they do. Well, maybe he can. Tim's. The song. 800 HP. Raven and Arm out. They're in. Can they really do it? Predator, can they? Silver Road, they're in. They'll get the kill. They get the Aegis onto Tim's. But can they take the fight? The Diver can easily come out. The Death Prophet. 4037 the side. Trying to throw the in. Raven getting brought down very low. Here's he tried to get himself away and has been for the cheese. He got it. Raven back up to full. Shepard, he's fallen. In your dream, silence. In your dream, crew. Coming in with the silence. That's going to be the PL down for two minutes without buyback. For this push. Tim's. The man of the moment oh here for TNC. Radiance Tins. middle tower. Who wants that TI position? Ever so bad. A play that looks to be impossible may just be enough to keep them in the game, Predator. I, I can't believe this is happening. As they get the mid racks, the top racks as well will fall. Still 40 very excruciatingly painful seconds for Tigers to go through without their Phantom Lancer. They're Two gonna continue. sets of racks. They get the roll. Jump. Looking for K. Zephyr's there with the snowball save. They have to fight without that PL. The global comes out, but 458. He's taken so much damage. He'll Yule's up. The GA's out. Buying some time for Tiger's armor. Keeps his distance. 458 with the siphon onto Tim's. But they kite them out. Tim's turns with the net. As the GA and the ghost used. They'll the base. The game going, but indeed. They've got a TP back. They've got a, they've got a creep problem. Predator. As they will get out, Zephyr. Looking to catch out Cuckoo on the escape, he goes for the DP, will they get the cancel? Radiance Courier has been killed. Gold is a great conductor. Back up now too. So Aegis Cheese refresher shard. TNC, they're forcing out all the lanes. This is the beauty of having that Naga Siren with the Radiance. And there we go, jump forward. They get the roll. Bam! That's gonna be 1437 going for 75 seconds. Well, they, there's Naga Siren yeah, while he's running they, around the map. They know that they've got the the, the sizable advantage now against Tigers line up. They just have to make sure they don't screw it up. Absolutely. Tier three tower. Hold on for a bit. Death Prophets is back up. And while we're gone, it looks like there's also an Orchid picked up on the Phantom Ledger, so he's going for the Bloodthorn. So he can go through that butterfly and all that evasion that is coming out on the side of TNC. That's Prophet ulti. Go. Ready to pop. And they will look towards Raven. Raven, still alive for now. So Sims with the song. Keeping Raven safe. Disengaging Disengage. whilst the ult's being popped by 458. They've found half of the bottom racks. Looks like they're gonna check out those runes. Armel, gonna be very happy to pick up a regen rune, restore that mana that he's missing. It was 63 minutes into this game. game. Gold short on Naga, 140 DP, 800 to Omni. So the clashes are suddenly gonna kick off pretty big Sam H. She's there for Zephyr, goes across the world, Tim. They do get the net, the net back onto himself. Sam H jumps forward, they have got him in the blood right. They've caught out the tusk. It's scanned out though. Predator knows. They're they looking go. to wrap this around. They've got a smoke too for positioning. Let's see, Predator trying to get into prime position. They are going fully in on Roach and it's taking quite a time to beat down. 458 in the middle of the pit. He's got the back of the GA Raven plus the BKB and look to move in. Okay, jumps forward as well, slides himself back out of the pit. 458 with the siphons, forcing TNC Predator to the side. In the dream, spamming the doppelganger. Causing chaos with the illusions. They get the silence out to our mail. Removes it straight away the BKB. They hit the second GA. Tigers continuing to push Predator back away from the pit. 
He looks, towards Tim's, Tim's turns, looks for the net, but again, this doppelganger from In Your Dream, just allowing him to jump consistently around the fight. It's a little too much for them to handle. Sam H puts the BKB, Blood Right will not clip onto them. The Sam H turns towards 458, can he get the kill? The Snowball save was attempted, but 458 walks away from Zephyr. So he can't get into Snowball. They've lost 458, they've lost 1437, they'll buy back. That's gonna cost them 895. He used there. Couldn't take the fight. How are they gonna do it into Aegis Cheese Refresher Shard? It seems almost impossible for Tigers. As Predator. The original TNC ready to try and push in on the bottom. They've got and the fruits of Roshan. And we go out again. Drop before the catcher comes out. In dream trying to move in there. Looking down onto Raven. Raven gets the BKB out. The doppelganger to dodge the, the blood, right? They send your team out to the side with the racks. They're suffering the racks. They've got Predator. They've found the Mega Creeps. 10 seconds until the Tusk is back. The Tigers will at least have their full lineup. They've got the global silence. How long are we looking on GA and Exorcism? Are they coming up? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. But they've lost. They've lost the racks. And TNC's in their base with this Aegis, with the cheese, with the refresher shard. Still in your dream is quite a nuisance to push against. This doppelganger talent selection certainly showing its, its power in this game. In the way that it's just beating down, keeping the mana low. They get the lockdown onto Raven, jump forward the silence as well, but there's the Lotus Orb to Purge. Your Raven's falling low though. He's getting focused and the Raze has gone once. They're taking the Aegis out of Raze's hands. And they do it again a second time. Back up to the high ground of the base. Now wait out, wait for the push to come in. They have lost one of their tier four towers. Exorcism up, as well as the G8. 137, low on the mana, we'll have to back up in order to get the Global Silence available. Samet just picked up an AC to help to the push and buff up his teammates. And Agonims will be queued up. They have got a double GA now. They have double GA available. And I believe double Exorcism as well. There we go. Look to move in, Raven. Closing on the tier fours. Let's get Yules up. Cheat on his hand. Drew and in straight away, but the blood rights down. And your dream has to separate himself. He will be able to do so. Going to go back in with the illusions onto Raven, just taking that mana away from him. Zephyr getting pretty low to the creeps. Raven down to pretty much half health as in your dream looks to move forward. Sam H is going to be the one to jump in with the BKB. Looking to commit, but the snowball saves there. Keeping the safe from the blood right. They turn towards Raven. Raven's got the low sword and the BKB on him at the moment, but there's the global silence from 1437. In your dream jumps in, looks towards Cuckoo, takes Cuckoo out. That's going to be Cuckoo down for two minutes. And your dream, can you get anything more out of this? He's falling pretty low again with the doppelganger. Looking towards Tim's. Tim's low to solve up on himself with another doppelganger in front of your dream. Goes up the high ground, but he's dead. He has five back. Looking to get back in the snowball. Keeping Zephyr safe for now. Gets the blink away as well from Armel. We keep the game going, but that has been a buyback from In Your Dream. That was their double Guardian Angel again, and all they can get is Cuckoo. They got an Aegis too, but... They're struggling to keep out the pressure of these creeps. Take them back of that tier 4. We'll get it, Sam H jumps in, they get the sun immediately, and that's going to be the silence of God. No buyback for 1437. Snowball down again, look towards Sam H, but Sam H with the BKB stands to grab 458. Up into the sky with the Yule, trying to keep himself up, but he's dead. 458's gone for two minutes, 1437's gone, they've lost the third. And GG it. World Played is called as TNC Predator lost. They swing it back, and Tim's. Tim's. You gotta give it to Tim's. Those, the sleep around the, I mean, the sleep into the pit. That was, I mean, there's no way that anybody else can be up, even voted for MVP by any means, no matter how good any of the plays were, because that is literally what just got them back in the game entirely. It was a 20k gold lead for Tiger, 57k gold lead for Predator. Claim the Aegis, they claim the cheese, just...